butterfly pea flower tea. That's butterfly pea flower. It has nothing to do with butterflies and pea. Just so you know, butterflies don't do that. Actually, we don't know if they do that. Maybe they do that. But this has nothing to do with what we're talking about today, which is butterfly pea flower tea, which is this cool, trendy ingredient that's being used in cocktails. So we're going to show you how to make cocktails and some non-cocktail drinks with butterfly pea flower tea. So the first drink we're going to make is this cool cocktail called the Forager. This is a kind of a variation on a gin and tonic. Basically, you add three basil leaves to your shaker and a little bit of lime juice. Muddle, 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 muddle quickly. Add some ice. Someday Food & Wine will give me a budget for an ice scoop that will rule. Gin. I'm using Monkey 47. It's tasty stuff. One ounce of Italicus Rosalia. This is an, um, an Italian aperitif. It's got the flavor of bergamot oranges and it's got a little bit of roses in it. Um, it's really gorgeously aromatic, a little bit sweet. A little freshly squeezed cucumber juice, about an ounce of that. Typically with cocktails, if you've got fruit juice in them, you're gonna shake them. Um, if you have no fruit juice, it's a straight alcohol, you're gonna stir. Now for the cool part, you add an ounce of butterfly pea flower tea. It's blue as it comes in and then as it gradually sinks down through your citrus, it turns this kind of gorgeous purple. Throw in a little basil and a little rosemary, and you have this exceptionally excellent gin and tonic variation with this kind of light shade of purple shading to this kind of light green from the cucumber that's wrapped around the inside of the glass as a garnish. Herbal, tart, sweet, and cool looking. So the other cool thing about butterfly pea flower tea, you don't have to use it in cocktail. You can use it just in a, in a non-alcoholic drink and it still has the same nifty, color-shifting, wacky effects. For instance, lemonade. This is store-bought lemonade. If you do use store-bought lemonade, you want to use something with a high actual juice content because the citric acid is what does the color-shifting trick. We took a bunch of that, we turned it into ice cubes in the fridge. Very simple, very straightforward. So when you pour it into the glass, you get this lovely lemonade turning into this quite pretty pastel purple color. It's basically an Arnold Palmer. Take it to the club, give it to your friends. It's an Arnold Palmer, darling. And they'll see it's purple and then they'll walk out of the club going, he's insane. There you have it. Butterfly pea flower tea lemonade. Purple, gorgeous, weird. One of the cool things about this butterfly pea flower tea is that they're actually making it in extract form now as well. These tea blossoms, I guess you'd say themselves, are easily available on Amazon. You can also buy this cool stuff called Blur, uh, which is simply an extract of the tea, but you can use it to color things like, for instance, a French 75 cocktail. This is one of the classic cocktails, a spectacular cocktail, I love this cocktail. You've got um, you know, about half an ounce of simple syrup, some delicious gin, it's called a French 75 because it was named after the cannons that the French were using during World War I. That's because it's powerful. A little lemon juice, do a bit of a shake. Do all the shaking you like. You typically, French 75, you're gonna have a champagne flute. The reason being that you are going to float some champagne on top. You don't wanna dilute it with a whole bunch of tea um, because then you don't have really much of a drink left. So you can use this extract, and really you can kind of add as much as you want. Take your garnish on top, and you have a beautiful glowing French 75 that's kind of pale, transparent, light purple on top, deep purple where the butterfly pea flower extract has hit the middle layer and then it gradually streams down. And it's basically it's interacting with the lemon juice that's in the drink. And it doesn't really change, the, oh, that's a good drink. It doesn't really change the taste at all, just makes it into this very excellent, cool looking version of a French 75. 